Hello there, guys. Welcome back to another short online tutorial based in InDesign. My name is Jack. I'm one of the tutors at Blue Sky Graphics. And as always, it's my absolute pleasure in welcoming you here today. We're based in InDesign, guys, like I'd said. And we, the reason why we are here is to discuss the Gap tool, a very, very cool little tool that you can use to add difference to your frames, to your imagery. Hello there, guys. Welcome back to another short online tutorial. My name is Jack. I'm one of the tutors at Blue Sky Graphics. And as always, it's my absolute pleasure in welcoming you here today. We're based in InDesign today. And the reason why we are here is to discuss the Gap tool, a very cool little tool that you can use to add difference to the gaps in between your frames, um, just to give you very individual designs. Uh, yeah, again, increasing the aesthetics of your designs. Now, as you can see here, I've got an example in front of you here where we have different sized frames within one file here. And what I'd like to do today is show you how to do it. So what I've got to do here is I've got an A4 uh, page open up for me now to show you how to do it. So we've got the frame tool here. Shortcut is the letter F. Now if I start to draw out the frame tool, okay, I've still got my mouse pressed down. But if I press up twice on the arrow keys on my keyboard, as you can see, it divides them. And I'm probably gonna say another one like so. And now as you can see, I have four frames. Now to place images with inside these frames, you can press Command D on Mac or Control D on Windows. And let's get four images here to use. I've already downloaded from Pexels. Okay, now, as you can see, these four images now are in a queue. So if I start to place them within the file that I into the frame that I would like them to go by simply clicking like so. Now, as you can see, the images haven't been placed correctly within the frames. Okay, and there's a couple of ways that you can do it and sort that out is if you were to select everything like so using the select tool, if you right click, you have fitting as an option and you can fill your frame proportionally. Wait for it, and there you go. Or there is a new option that has been added to the InDesign uh, software, and that is this little icon here, which is content, content Aware Fit. This is where InDesign helps you determining the best parts of the image to place them in the frame, and also at the same time, filling them proportionately, as you can see there. Okay, now I've drawn out my four frames, very nice, but I like to start adding some difference to the gaps in between my frames. This here is your gap tool. Shortcut is the letter U. Okay, so now if I was to come here, the gap at the moment is currently from the top of these images right down to the bottom of these images here. So if I now was to click and drag, as you can see, you can start to manipulate the whole gap. Now let's say for instance, you wanted to move an individual gap. If you were to press shift, that will allow you to move an individual gap like so. And we also have command on Mac or control on Windows. And that is to increase the size and width of the particular gap and obviously at the same time if you want to individually create bigger space within one single gap you'd be shift and command or control at the same time and as you can see now what you can do is really start to add some real cool looking designs just simply using the gap tool here all sure we can do now is use your select tool and you can manually move her across if you're not happy with placement of her like so. And there you go, guys. That's how you use the gap tool within InDesign. If you're interested in finding out more about our school, the courses that we offer, us as tutors, please don't hesitate in visiting our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Also, you can check out our uh, Instagram at blueskygraphicsuk for some fabulous work by our very talented students. Thank you very much, guys. Take care and I'll see you next time.